process to go through in order to design this kind of map, this is Milan, uh, would be to do initial research. Here, excluding the square around, all of those orange lines have actually been walked by me in this particular place. Uh, and I've noted down where each of the stops are and the names of the stops as appears on the, on the ground itself. So you're, I'm beginning to build up a picture of the network, of where the stops are, where the, trams, where the tram routes are. So although this has where the tram routes are, this is the official map, that's, they, they show where the tram routes are, they don't show the location of any of the stops. We're in Via Cavour now, and we can now see our next stop here, which we're going to plot on the street plan, find out the name, take the photograph, and then continue on to the next stop uh, and uh, build up a, a picture of the tram system in Milan. This will answer one of the fundamental questions we often get asked, which is how do we do it? How do we do this? How do we create a diagrammatic map of Milan from uh, the, what exists on the ground? This is the name of this particular stop here, uh, and this side, the trams go in the direction of Greco. Uh, and this is the name that you'll see on the, on the front of the tram. We have the name here, Greco, line one. And uh, we are, in fact, down here at Cavour. So, um, so this line one uh, in the direction of Greco is there. That marries up to this. And line two, you can see, is in the direction of Lanigiana. And uh, line two in this direction is in the uh, going towards Lunigiana. So that all matches up. I use this map to uh, to highlight where I've actually walked, like uh, and showing where, where we've been. In fact, here we are down at Piazza Cavour, and we're going to be moving off down this road here uh, to do the next uh, stop on this map. Somewhere along this road here. Over there. So this is an interesting one because this is an example of a stop on only one side of the street. So a stop one direction of travel. There's no stop on the other side, it's just here. And so the way we show that is by putting the name of the stop in red and then an arrow to show the direction of the service stopping here. And here we have, this is the markup, this is what we've just done. We show the platform there on this side of the street, not on the other side. And at number two, of course, is our reference to uh, the name, which is over here. Number two, Manzoni Pisoni, is the name of the stop there. We've taken a photograph, so we have a, a, a record now, photographic evidence of the research that we've undertaken. reference as well so we're actually down in this part of this street here and um, obviously we've already done this research um, and then we'll be continuing in this southerly direction building up a picture of how the trains work in the land. Having got all of this information we then take it back to the studio uh, and then design the, the graphic representation here. Um, as you can imagine, there's hundreds and hundreds of, of station names. There's a, a, a whole combination of coloured lines going all over the place. Uh, and it's down to the skill and judgement of our designers to, um, to create harmony from a complex web of, of interchanging lines. Uh, and this is the result. So, so from this, basically from this, with no names, to this, proper names and, uh, and coloured coloured routes as well. Again you see of course here on this official map you've only got blue lines to represent the trams. On this one you've got individual colours which makes planning, route planning a lot easier.